Hey Terrier fans, welcome to Unleashed. I'm your host, Brittany Wilbur. This is a series where we're gonna learn more about the student athletes of Wofford College outside of their sports. Terrier fans, I'm here with senior basketball player Jamari McDavid. Jamari, thanks for being on Unleashed today. No problem. Um, one of the questions I've been asking a lot of athletes is, you know, this is a very tough time with COVID. How have you handled it? Well, um, our coaches have been telling us to like wear our mask, wash our hands often and stuff like that, and then stay away from people who aren't in our bubble. So that's the main things, wearing a mask, washing your hand, and only staying around those who are in my bubble. And talk about this summer, you had an internship lined up, right? Yeah, see, I had a great internship lined up for myself and COVID just like snatched it away. So I had to work kind of, um, help around the house and find ways to get into gyms because they were all closed because of COVID. So your internship was supposed to be with the Aspen Institute in Colorado, right? So how was it being supposed to be in Colorado, but actually you spent your time at home in Ohio? Um, it was like sad but at the same time it was a good time because I haven't had a time at home the whole summer in like four years so like it was like refreshing to be around my family and I also live far away so throughout the school year I don't see them so it was a good time but at the same time I missed a good opportunity to be in Aspen and meet new people and better myself, you know. Well, of course. Well, it was a kind of a blessing in disguise to get that time with your family. For sure. Okay, well, now we're back <laughs> at Wofford. Things are a little different, but you are the only senior on this team. How are you handling this leadership role? Well, I also have a line of juniors behind me. There's seven of them, so I'm not completely doing it alone. And um, the freshmen look up to me in a sense that they come to me for everything. So I feel like that's like reassuring. That like puts me in a place where I could talk to them and lead them, so yeah. I mean, and you've had a lot of great role models um, above you, Cairo Booker, Marissa Bayer. How have they helped you transition from underclassmen to upperclassmen? I guess they like taught me how to be more receptive to information and also they helped me develop a sense of communication with people who don't understand what's going on. So like um, Cairo, she led by example all the time so therefore I picked up some things on the court where I could lead by example so I can get my team on and we all have good energy and it's a good practice. Um, Marissa, she was like the spokesperson. Like she was always there to tell us where to go, what to do and how to do it. And I think that I picked up a few tips from her too. So I could like relate that to our freshmen and sophomores. So now going to the skill portion, last season you were third in the SOCON for offensive rebounds. What from your game and your energy brings it to the team? Like how, how does that affect your team? Um, well, it gets us uh, some points if I'm getting <laughs> right. offensive rebounds. Right. Um, um, another thing, um, it gives us confidence uh, because rebounding is a tough, tough thing to do on the floor. And if you're rebounding good, then that means you're bringing energy, intensity, and it just, it just hypes everyone up. Speaking of your energy, you are known to dance on the bench. So do you have any moves planned for this season? Um, no, they kind of just come it as the music goes, yeah, but um, I think that is a way for me, like if we're down or something, or even if we're up, to constantly input a positive attitude towards my teammates. What do your teammates think of it? I see a lot of them join in. Oh, with it, with they it. laugh, they think yeah. it's funny, um, they just, I don't know, they see it as me being goofy and me being me. So what, what do you think Wofford has done for you as a whole? Like created you into a better person, getting you ready for life after Wofford, like what has Wofford done for you? Um, it's most definitely made me into a better person. Um, I've grown a lot since my freshman year. It has matured me. Um, it has also like given me opportunities that I'd never thought I'd have, like traveling out the country. It causes you to think about time management more because basketball is every day and so is school. Like you can't get away from it. You're forced to do it. It's yeah, a like you have it's to do it. exponential growth. Like 
It's crazy. That is so great. Well, thank you for your time today, Jamari. It's been awesome. Thank you for having me.